Hello. Okay, perfect. Sound is perfect. Well, thank you very much for the organization. Really amazing these days in here in Lisbon. Uh, really, really with a lot of people. So let's talk that about places. I think it probably is a conversation that is like in, in evolution because we are talking all the time about digital things, metaverse, a lot of things. But I think we can do some questions about what implies to be together and what implies community. I think in my journey of, uh, of crypto, I get impressed first about Bitcoin, about money, but in that journey, finally, I discovered that what is most important is coordination. I think more people have talked about that. So I think probably we are in the most important conference because really DAO for me is the core of all this coordination that is happening in, in crypto. And that's really the most valuable thing we have to see. So we are, we are right now in a space in Madrid, very big, and we are a lot of people working together. Uh, and we really want to to share with you what are our uh, experience uh, building a DAO in, in Crypto Plus also, and what is really uh, happening with out of people listening to it. What is this kind of butterfly e effect that you have sometimes in the event when you know someone, when you talk with someone, and, and that really uh, begins with the magic of doing something in crypto. I think. Probably you will know the people who has uh, introduced you in crypto. That happens, and this always happens in physical in events like that. So we are very, I am very involved in, in DAO. Uh, we are like uh, one of the in, the in the top 30 people who is collaborating in DAOs. I think the DAO stats are amazing. They are becoming really, really the treasuries are becoming really uh, uh, huge things to follow in the space, and and. In my point of view, that implies that we are this kind of organization are competing with other kind of uh, traditional uh, organizations, and they are winning. They are building a lot of really value in the ecosystem, and really this kind of exploration of co coordination is what really making a lot of value. So that's really really amazing. Uh, how we can spread new tools, new things to can create value together with this kind of new new way of government. So when we start in Crypto Plus as a space, we we think how we can uh, begin to experiment with DAOs. So we one of the of the founders of, of Aragon were Spanish, so we were have uh, some of in there, and we were thinking, okay. Let's go to, to explore what we can do with a DAO. Let's create a DAO and let's put some resources in that and see what's happening. And we begin to really to, to have a meeting every Friday uh, with these small resources that we have. And during one year, we have really a lot of things we have really achieved with that kind of meetings and with managing all this kind of treasury. So, one of our conclusion, well, we, we were really more than 60 people in the in the DAO. Right now we are like, like 18. We have managed more than 100 strategies of investment. So we are really probably we finally we have done like a venture DAO or like an investment DAO. Finally we, we really do this kind of work every Friday, and we have performance like uh, 10x. So we have probably we this kind of 70 people. We are in a very big market and a very good market, so that's also the, one of the reasons. But we have performed probably better than any of the traditional funds in the investment market in the in the Spanish market. So that that's really is an amazing thing that we have achieved. Right now we have like 2,000k and we start with 20,000. So we are really have a lot of rare funds right now in the and. One of the first conclusions that we can uh, realize from that experience is that uh, what we call cognitive bandwidth. I think sometimes when uh, there is so, so much things to explore in, in, or so much opportunities to explore really in investments, and it's impossible really to, to go deep in, in all of these uh, opportunities that we have. But if we have really more than 60 people, 60 people that has a, a background in, in crypto, we can really have more cognitive bandwidth. 
And that really is amazing we can do when you have a lot of people really uh, providing knowledge to, the, to investments. So it's only a question of coordinating, only a question of deciding which, but we have to imply even, we, we were really part-time collaborating to this investment now, and we really, uh, with this, we have managed a lot of things, a lot of things. So the power of cognitive uh, bandwidth is something that I think is one of the most uh, strong things that we can do in, in DAOs, because I think the corporate, in the traditional organization is much difficult really to, to add knowledge or to, to do decisions in that. But in that, that organization, we can organize in a very, very, very flexible way. So that was our first year. So right now we are also investing, but we can do uh, go even further from that experiment. So and I like this phrase that uh, I hear in Bangladesh, I did one of the podcasts I, I usually hear, that say that all those are ultimately attempts to become a digital nation. So probably that we have the space, we have the treasury. So, and, and I think really we are creating nations, digital nations. I think there are some talks in, in the space that, that uh, finally explain that really we are like crypto nations. We are really uh, places of economic activity that have a lot of people working on. They have some values, they have some things. And even we have like a space that also has to play a role. So if we really, if Crypto Plaza or if the, the ultimate attempts of all the, all the DAOs are really a digital nations, what can really uh, how can we go to this uh, to, to, to attend to become that? So, well, first of all, it's really interesting to say that state-to-get technology is quite efficient, as we can see here in in the Taoist, uh, and that's what we usually uh, happens every day in Crypto Plaza. So, I think we have to combine in some way. I don't know because we are very digital, we are digital first, but we have to we have a tool that is together that permits a lot of things. So I think these digital nations have to have like some kind of be together. Uh, I think part time to time, uh, I don't know. Uh, but that that's probably they will have this digital nation, we have to have the spaces all over the world. As we as crypto platform, we have a, a agreement with a lot of places in in here in France, in, in also, we have in Southeast, we are going to have in, in Portugal. We are, so, I think we are building like this kind of uh, places all over the world that are like the specific places where you can go. If you come to, you go to Madrid, if you come to Madrid, let us know because we can, we can really, uh, you can be in our place to stay there. So, uh, the other thing is how we can deal with the tragedy of the commons. Or how can we deal, how can really fund to have a place or to have a, a, a meeting like that? Because that is the one, of, one of the, the biggest topic what that sometimes Vitalik is talking about, how we can manage to, to, to have things that create out of value but are difficult to fund. This kind of events is not, it's expensive. But they create out of funds but it's sometimes it's difficult to pay the, the interest. So, that's what I think probably the next solution is what we are going to try uh, from Crypto Plaza is to, to use what is like now a trend that is protocol control value. I don't see, I don't know if you have seen some of these protocols like Fay, like right now Totemag. There are some protocols that instead of you can uh, deposit money and you will withdraw. These, these protocols have value that are like uh, controlling and they are uh, assigning to this DAO. It's like a, in some way a black hole of assets. So I think probably for me, crypto platform, this creation have to be like a hole of, uh, of assets. In, in, in that way that you can really have a stability in long term. So we are trying to build a, a, a DAO that can really uh, have some priority of the value created for the community that is going to be like uh, uh, owned by the protocol. And we think that this kind of treasury in the long term can maintain 
these kind of uh, uh, common resources. Okay, so th that's right now what I going to be our our next try to become a digital asset. So that kind of assets are not ready readable by users. So they are going to be forever in the in a in this DAO. So Crypto Plaza has a uh, asset, and these assets are growing. They are going to provide like uh, some kind of support to this nation. So in that, that way, who is going to decide <coughs> what we are going to be with this? Well, with, with really with the return of this asset, because our idea is to have like to put this asset in Guayer or in other kind of project that are uh, building in, in our ecosystem to have like a resources to to maintain. Uh, so the, the thing is, as, as assets are not going to be very more, you have to think who is going to decide. Uh, so here I think there are a lot of things that are exploring in terms of how people are going to organize, not in terms of companies, in terms of people, societies. I think democracy is, okay, one man, one vote, that has is what right now we think is the best option in our society. But we can explore other things, like probably duocracy. I, I think in one of the, the talks that we we hear in, in, in other talks in Ethereum, we say that probably it would be a, great, a good idea to vote by the work done. So you, if you do more for the, for the people, for the DAO, probably you, you are deserve to probably to decide uh, uh, more. So, and, and my, my other, my, my next step could be probably voted by value because you can do things that not, not provide value, but if you really uh, vote weight by value provided to society, probably we will optimize uh, the decisions to provide all the value to all the people. So I think that uh, we have to, to, to try to to explore new things to create value because in order that all people can have more value for all the society, we can really have a basic uh, universal income or, or something. And we have to be led by the people probably who create more value for all the people. So that's, I think we are going to explore in also in Crypto Plaza, you know, but I think as a, another way to, to, to create things. And, and that's our next step. So that digital nation fi finally will be supported for, you, uh, as you say, for the interest or for the earnings that are going to earn this this uh, asset that are going to be in this kind of. Uh, and I think in, in the in the in the final date you will be uh, on board on a nation that have your values and probably that supports some kind of thing that you think are valuable. So I think. Uh, sometimes we are in, in, in all the talks when we talk about Bitcoin and all of the things. Sometimes the narrative is: we don't have to pay taxes, we don't have to pay anything, we don't have to have uh, common resources. But in my, in my point of view, uh, it's because probably we don't see value on, on on paying that on organizations that probably we are not aligned. But if really uh, uh, we really face or really find organizations that create a lot of value, and you can really add value to these kind of resources that create value for the people. Probably this kind of uh, well, I don't know if it's taxes or, or some kind of common resources could it make sense. So I think we have to to be in the digital nations that can have resources that can really have people living this this. DAOs creating more value and probably they can offer a place to stay. Uh, so that's why I think CryptoCafe can try. Probably in the future nobody needs to pay anything to be in our place. Right now people have to pay because we have to pay a, a space and we have to share all the... But probably in the future we can really create so much value that we can really join our community without any cost. And that this community will be led by people who create even more and more value for the people. So that's because I think places finally, as we can see here, makes an important role. And I think that we, we will uh, again realize that being together is really, really important. So this is our V2 Crypto Plaza. We have a new brand, Masa has uh, created a new brand. Uh, we have people from, from our community. 
And yes, Sally, uh, to remember that we are in Madrid, we are a space that really, really loves to to uh, get in, in contact with other people who is in crypto, that wants to understand better how to create value to all, all the society and to become to change the, a little bit the world as we can. So, uh, thank you very much. I might I have more time, but... Thank you. So we have about four minutes for questions. Raise your hands if you'd like to ask them. Hey, yeah, um, really cool talk. Um, I'd love to know a bit more about the business model behind the co-working space. Like, is it um, is it token gated or any way, or is it you know just a traditional real estate business model that you're layering a crypto community onto it, or are you trying to merge those two layers together to create a kind of new business model, as it were? Yes, we begin with the traditional business model, but as we is we think that. Uh, crypto is a competitive advantage and we really believe in that. I think we have to use this uh, new kind of business model that uh, crypto can offer us. So I think we are going to try to transcend this pay to stay to in, in some way that you can create value to our treasury and we can have more resources to have a space. So not, not to be dependent probably on a regular uh, fee depending on uh, people who add value to the community. So any people who can really add value to our community will probably uh, permit us to have more resources and to, to get more people to the community. So I think that, for me, is going to grow more and to be connected with a lot of people. And I think, I think all of the business in the world have to think about crypto because it's a way to... It's like internet in, in, in the three, 20 years ago. You have out of things to improve in the business model. You don't have to have a higher employees. You have to, a, a more really flexible way to create an a organization. And that's what we are thinking. And I think the place can really even accelerate that because we think in the place we can find all together things to create value. And so that's we, we, right now we are traditional, but we are moving to be you know, a non-traditional. So probably we, in, the, in the future we have tokens or NFTs that permits you to be in our community or to, to decide in our community. But we need to be very uh, open to everybody, but we want the people who decide to be the people who really create more value. Cool, thank you. Uh, we have time for maybe one last question. That's short and a short answer. Yeah. <laughs> if not, thank you very much. Okay. Jesus.